Hello there, it is I, Ian Sausage Aim Higton, back once again with the tips video for PUBG on the PlayStation 4 that should help you turn from someone who plays like this into someone who can do stuff like this. Now, most people will know from our many PUBG live streams that my aim is absolutely abysmal with mouse and keyboard, but it turns out that making the jump from PC to console has improved my kill-death ratio massively. Thanks, controller aim! But moving from PC to PS4 can be quite annoying at first because a load of functions you're used to from before just don't seem instantly accessible on console. So what follows is a list of handy tips that should give you the edge if you're planning on swapping keyboard and mouse for a lovely, comfy DualShock 4. Mmm, murderbush. The very first thing you're going to want to do is head to your settings menu and change your controller button preset to B. Having the button preset on the default A setting means that with a pull of the L2 trigger button, you'll enter third person aiming mode rather than aiming down sights. To aim down sights, you then have to do a really awkward toggle by quickly pulling the left trigger twice, something that's incredibly tricky to do when you're in the heat of a battle. With button preset B activated, however, a single pull of the L2 button will snap you straight to the iron sight, meaning you'll be able to get an accurate shot faster, and you'll probably get the jump on any poor sucker still rocking preset A. As someone who has to continually look at a keyboard to make sure he's not mashing the wrong buttons, it's no surprise that I hesitate to lean in PUBG on the PC. I'm normally lying dead in a pool of my own brain blood by the time my fingers have worked out where they need to be on the keyboard to necessitate such an action, so I'm pleased to say leaning on PUBG PS4 is a lot easier as long as you don't panic. You see, to lean on PS4, you have to enter third or first person aiming first, and then click in either the left or right thumbstick, depending on which way you want to lean. This for me is much more intuitive than having to play a miniature game of Twister with my hand on a keyboard, but this simplified action can still pose a few risks. You see, if, like me, you're prone to panic, this can lead to extended bouts of unwanted leaning as you hurriedly try to get your target into your crosshairs. On the plus side, though, leaning normally makes you look like a cool pro player. So if you do accidentally pop a lean, who knows? Maybe there's a chance you'll be able to intimidate someone to death. Or... At least you can confuse them long enough to insert a shotgun blast into their centre mass. If you want to make your third-person reticle look ratty cool, remember that you can head over to the settings menu and customise the colour of your reticle with these three sliders. Just like in the PC version, I tend to favour 100% red, as it stands out against both dark and light areas of the map. Some scopes also give you the option to change the colour of their reticles when you're aiming down sights. You can cycle through the reticle types of a 2 times scope, for instance, by aiming down sights and then pressing up or down on the D-pad. You can also change the brightness of these reticles by holding down R1 and pulling up or down on the left stick. Finally, some scopes like the 6 times will also allow you to zoom in and out. On the PC, this is performed by rolling the mouse wheel, but on PS4, it's a bit more tricky. Again, you have to hold down R1 and then pull up or down on the left thumbstick to zoom in and out. Oh, and you can also press up or down on the D-pad to change your zeroing distance, if you so desire. Want to run across the deserts of Miramar forever without snapping your fingers in two on the controller's thumbsticks? Well, there's no equals button on the DualShock 4, so to do an endless run on console, you'll instead need to double-click L3. 
It's important to note that you have to start from a standstill to make this work, and that by holding down R1, you can use free aim to check your surroundings as you do a big fat legger through the battlegrounds. One of the worst things about PUBG on console, aside from the fact that you have to hold a button to reload, for Christ's sake, is the fact that the inventory system is a nightmare to navigate with a controller. It's such a pain in the ass, and it's easy to accidentally drop guns or attachments without realising, especially in high-pressure situations. There are, however, a few ways to make things a little easier, and, more importantly, speedier. For a start, rather than having to scroll through every item in your inventory one by one, you'll be pleased to know you can press R2 or L2 to move up or down your items in stacks of six. Detaching and swapping attachments that are already fixed to guns is, unfortunately, an unavoidably painful process, but there is a way to auto-equip attachments instead of manually having to sort through them in your inventory. To do this, access your inventory as you walk over items and you'll be given a button prompt to auto-equip any attachments you are close to. Hopefully this will stop you from getting shot whilst rummaging around in your backpack. PUBG on PS4 has this annoying way of having different buttons doing basically the same things. So for instance, to get into a car you have to press the square button, but to get out of it you have to press the circle. If you want to swap seats though, you can cycle through each available seat with the X button, which is very handy if you jump into the wrong seat of a car when someone is shooting at you. But what if an enemy is close and you really need to make a speedy getaway? Well, instead of slowly cycling between each seat, simply hold down X to automatically jump to the driver's seat so you can GTFO ASAP. Here's another thing that's easier on console than it is on PC. Controlling bikes in mid-air. On PC you have to wrestle with control and spacebar, and the amounts of times I've face-planted because I've forgotten which one flips the bike which way is immeasurable. Thankfully, on PS4, all you need to do to steady your bike or pull off some mad spins is to push forwards or pull backwards on the left thumbstick. It's super easy to do, so it should be much simpler to land your bike on two wheels rather than on your face. <coughs> oh, and one word of warning, the backwards and forwards pitch here is inverted, which isn't really a bother for those of us who play games correctly, but, you know, it's worth bearing in mind if you don't. Now, this one might sound pretty obvious, but do make sure you play PUBG PS4 with a decent pair of headphones. Sound is super important in the game, as pretty much every PC player will know. It's not as common for console owners to be rocking a pro set of cans though, and this can work to your advantage as you'll often come across players who blatantly aren't wearing any, as this poor chap here is demonstrating. Look, he doesn't have a clue where I'm shooting from. Oh, bless him. This also works the other way around too. Being able to listen out for footsteps and accurately pinpoint another player's position will help you to set up plenty of ambushes. Although, in the example you're about to watch, the enemy player approaching on a bike somehow managed to ambush themselves. As a little bonus point here, when you run, your footsteps tend to create a lot of noise, which can drown out noises that other players are making. When approaching compounds which may have enemies hiding inside them, I like to move in third-person aiming mode. You can still move pretty fast in this mode, but the sound of your own footsteps in your ears is drastically reduced, which means you might be able to hear someone else shuffling around. 
Finally, and this has helped me loads, probably more than any of the other tips on this list. Do have a play around with your sensitivity settings because the default settings are pretty rubbish. The settings I'm currently using are based on ones suggested by YouTuber Proof Silco, whose video I've linked to in the description below. After swapping to the settings he suggested, I instantly found it easier to get kills and was quickly able to pull off some murders that I would have found impossible to replicate with the keyboard and mouse. Thank you very much, Mr. Proof Silco. And that's the end of my PUBG PS4 tips video. Hopefully you found them useful, whether you're a PC player who's jumped ship or just a complete beginner to PUBG. Either way, do like this video if you enjoyed it, think about subscribing for daily videos here on Eurogamer, tickle the end of that bell button for notifications on all of our uploads, and most importantly, do have a lovely day that's full of yummy chicken din-dins. Goodbye.